Hey everybody, sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, just really haven't had a whole lot of time lately. The whole uh, coronavirus thing has kind of thrown my schedule into a loop a little bit. Um, you know, just kind of uh, trying to adapt and do things a little bit differently here. Um, so anyway, I haven't really done uh, a whole lot of videos lately, so I'm gonna try to do something about that. Um, part of the reason is because I don't really have a whole lot hatching right now, and most of the stuff that is hatching isn't really anything that I feel is unique enough to show on videos. So, um, but I'm getting clutches now. Um, I think I'm up to 10 clutches this year, which is behind my pace from last year. So I actually think my, my year is gonna be a little bit later or my, my hatching season is gonna be a little bit later this year, which is kind of nice because I've got a lot of stuff to sell yet. So, um, you know, having uh, a little bit more time before I get a big influx of new babies will definitely be a good thing. So um, I was trying to think, I actually laid awake in bed for a while last night, trying to think, what can I do a video on? What would be different? Something I haven't shown a whole lot of. And uh, actually I couldn't really come up with a whole lot. So, um, but one thing I did want to show is an update on some toffee projects. So a lot of you know that toffee and candy are pretty much the same thing and that they are allelic with albino. If you breed a toffee to an albino, you get toffinos which are, um, they all look like albinos when they first hatch, and then the, the toffee or toffinos kind of gradually start to change, the white starts to change more into lavender. And the toffees, the pure toffees or candies, um, they look like albinos basically when they hatch too, but they start changing lavender really quickly and they get much darker. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you uh, some uh, updated, some new combos that I've done with them and uh, some updated, um, you know, update a video with a few of them as well. So this first one here, this is a pure toffee. Like I said, toffee and candy, in my opinion, are the exact same thing. You get to see the nice, nice deep purples, really awesome colors. And just the, the yellows too are just so bright and intense. And this is a female. She's probably, I'd say 900 grams, give or take a little bit. So she should be breeding here in another year from now. So that's just what a normal toffee looks like at that size. Like I said, when she hatched, she, she looked pretty much like a regular albino. Maybe with the, the toffees, you can see just a very slight hint of lavender or purple in them when they hatch, but they mostly look, look like regular albinos. And the problem with the toffees, toffinos, and albinos, when you're breeding, uh, pairing them, when you could get all three combos in there, it sometimes takes a few months to really figure out what each baby is. So, you, you know, you have to wait until they start to change colors. The ones that start to change really quickly are and, and get the darkest purples are the toffees. Ones that are moderately lavender looking are toffinos, and the ones that are white, of course, are albinos. So I'm gonna show you a couple different combos with the toffee gene. Okay, this first one, I believe that this is a pastel toffee. It's got pretty pretty dark purples for that age and that size. Uh, he was a late 2019 hatching. I just really, really like this gene. Um, I just think it looks so unique. You know, it's kind of got the all the positive things of what bananas can bring to a color palette, but none of the spots, and they're just a little bit more intense than a lot of bananas are. So this is a gene I'm really excited about working with, um, hoping to produce a lot of different um, combos with that, with this, including like pied and clown, and just trying to get it into as many different things as I can. Okay, and here, in comparison, this is a leopard toffino. This is the first one, I think this is the first um, normal leopard toffino that I've produced so far. The leopard gives itself away by the head scalation. A lot of the albino leopards and toffino leopards and things like that 
they kind of have really bold head scales. You can really see the outlining between each scale. I don't know why, it's just something I kind of noticed with those over the years. So this guy is getting fairly dark. Um, now he's just a toffino, not a toffee. So he's not going to get as dark as that pastel toffee that I had out. But I really like the way albino leopards look. And I thought that the the um, toffino leopard would be really cool too. And in my opinion, that's a really, really cool snake. Another um, thing, another way that you can tell... Um, a toffino or toffee from an albino when they're young is that the albino's uh, eyes are normally like a lighter red, kind of a pink, and the toffino and toffee eyes tend to be a little bit darker with the, the pure toffee eyes being the darkest out of all of them. So it helps if you have a group of them to look at and sometimes you can kind of tell by the eye color. Okay, the next one I have here, this is a Tofino Mojave. And I actually am pretty sure that that's got pastel in it as well. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I think so. It's just, at this size, it's just a little bit more yellow and a little bit more colorful than um, Tofino Mojaves that I've hatched in the past. I've been producing Tofino Mojaves for several years right now, or several years, and uh, right now I'm actually breeding Toffino Mojave to Toffino Mojave to produce uh, red-eyed Super Mojaves that'll have nice deep ruby colored eyes. So this one right here is the toffee version. Of course he's going to be shy. So this is a toffee Mojave. You can see the difference in the lavenders. And this one also has a chance to be a black pastel. Um, I don't think, I don't really see black pastel in it, but I know that there is, genetically there is a chance. I brought a, I think I brought a black pastel toffino to a toffino Mojave to produce him. Okay, speaking of black pastel toffinos, that would be this guy right here. So that is a black pastel toffino. Yeah, just a few months old. That's one of my favorite Toffino combos, because this is what it looks like as a sub-adult. This is a female here. She'll be breeding here this fall. Look at the way that, that lavender color develops over time. It's really, really nice and intense. The yellows are so bright, awesome blushing down the back, and then Fairly dark lavender color for being a toffino and not a pure toffee. Okay, and then this guy right here, girl actually, I believe that this is a um, leopard Mojave Toffino. I have produced a few, the, a few things that look like this that could all have some different genes in it, but they all look fairly similar. And they all have a chance to have either Enchi, Leopard, or Mojave in them. And I haven't quite figured out what they all are yet. I'll have to breed them to something relatively simple the first time just to kind of See if I can pick out the individual genes in there. I think I have three, uh, three snakes that look that looks relatively similar to her. Oh, 
Okay, now this one, look at the contrast with this. This is, I believe it's a toffee enchi or enchi toffee. Whoa, hey, let's not do that. So that snake is by far the most intense yellow and orange um, combo that I've produced so far with uh, the toffee gene. Here's a hatchling. So you start off with fairly nice lavenders and then that lavender changes to more of an orange color as they get older. Just a spectacular looking snake. I think I have two of these and I'm breeding them to um, Toffino Enchies. So I should produce Toffee Enchies and Toffee Super Enchies and Toffino Enchies and Toffino Super Enchies. So those should be all be just awesome looking. I have one more snake that I want to show you here. So we'll let you look at those for just a second or two. Okay, so I managed to get a recessive gene in here as well. This is a Toffino Enchi Clown. And he's younger than these two by a little bit, but he's starting to get some lavenders where the white should be. I've got an albino Enchi Clown too. Actually scratch the enchi part of that. I'm not sure that there's enchi in this one, but here's a here's an albino clown. And you can even tell, I mean, just look at the eye colors, the difference. And then, you know, this one's got white. There's some yellow bleeding into the white on this one now. But look at the nice lavenders in that. I've produced a couple, actually I've produced, I think, uh, two males and three females of these. And this is the only one that I'm selling right now. So eventually, I, you know, it be interesting to see what this looks like as an adult. I'm, I'm hoping to eventually get some colors a little bit closer to this with the clown pattern. But we'll see. Okay, well that's everything I have for today. I will try to come up with some new material to uh, get another video out soon. I'm um, just hoping to kind of figure out my schedule a little bit better so I can free up a little bit more time. Uh, this is a lot of snakes to feed and, and water and everything. So I have to unfortunately do videos if I have spare time after doing all that. So uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day getting new snakes up on my website. I took, uh, I think about 55 or so pictures yesterday. I'm going to hopefully get all those up on the website within the next week. So definitely check that out to see if there's anything you're interested in. Uh, it's, my website is royalconstrictordesigns.com. And I do have a sale running on for a few more days yet. Um, it's my COVID-19 sale, the one that I uh, set up after uh, missing out on the NARBC. Um, wanted to generate some sales to uh, to move out some more animals. So decided to have a 19% off sale and there's free shipping if you order if your order is over $500. So that's gonna end, it's supposed to end on April 1st. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I might extend it a little bit yet, but uh, definitely check out my website uh, to see if there's anything that you're interested in. So far, so good with FedEx. I've been shipping a ton out. It's actually been really, really busy. Uh, over the past couple of weeks, I've shipped out, I think it's uh, like 23 or 24 boxes this last week. So, uh, so far, so good with FedEx. They're shipping normally and hopefully that'll continue. So as of today, which is, uh, eight, um, what is it, March 26th, um, I'm gonna be uh, you know, still shipping. So uh, hopefully the weather will stay good, FedEx will keep moving everything along really well, and I can get your snakes to you right away. So check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and I will be back very soon with another video, I promise.